skeletons, you help me out so much right now. Don't die. Killed him. Let's go. Okay, I'm coming back. I was at Woo! my phone. Me. Sorry, man. No, no. Hi. Don't say sorry. I just joined those guys. You guys talked on. Megalodon. There's a Megalodon. You're trying to talk on us? There's a Megalodon. There's a Megalodon. Yeah, I got you. Same. There's a Megalodon. Okay, I was trying to talk to my new friend. I'm sorry. Calm down. I don't want to lose. Just don't sh don't shoot the Meg. That's all you have to okay. do. Don't shoot the Meg and just sail. Opponents. Uh, just sail here. Just sail okay. to here. You will okay. be fine. You will? Yes. Don't shoot at okay. it. Hey, what is up, everyone? In today's video, I have a topic I got from one of you guys from asking me about Sea of Thieves media outside of the game. Similar to the Origins comics that we read recently on the channel, these are going to be things that aren't part of the game but relate to the game in some way. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about some cool stuff in Sea of Thieves that is outside the game. I will say though, it would not have everything as this would make it a really long video, but I wanna focus on some of the stuff I found interesting and I think y'all will too. So with that all said, the first thing is what came out before the Origins comics and that is several graphic novels that fans can read on Comixology. Unlike the comics we read, these graphic novels cost money to read but are a lot longer and more in depth than the stories we read. If you're looking for something on the free side of things, you can check out the Athena's Fortune audiobook, which is a collection of stories about different characters you may recognize in the game. This can be found in most places, but I'm pretty sure the place I saw it the most was in, on YouTube, so I'll check that out if you're interested. If you're looking for something physical, there is tons of Sea of Thieves merch that is all really well done in my opinion. For example, there is a Sea of Thieves Monopoly set that I love, and it's really well done. And I also saw recently that they added a table with a Sea of Thieves map on it, and that looked really cool and something I kind of want to get one day. If you're looking for something a bit more unique, there is a Sea of Thieves role-playing game, which is two to six players, and it's a tabletop game, and I'm pretty sure it's similar to something like D&D. Something cool with this is that it comes with exclusive sales called the Lord Guardian sales, which look really cool and almost makes the price of buying it worth it to me. I've really thought about getting it, but I don't really have enough people around to play that with. Another piece of Sea of Thieves Media is their TikTok account, which has some funny videos that I know I definitely got a few laughs from it. There's one thing you can expect from me, and that's the unexpected. Cause I'm an international super spy. You can also learn a ton about the behind the scenes of the game through the Steve Thieves official podcast, which I also love watching when new episodes release. Finally, the last piece of Steve Thieves media I wanted to talk about is all the music they produce. On Spotify and other places where you can find music, you can find all of the music that Steve Thieves has made, even some that aren't even in the game yet. Right now, I'm really enjoying the Ballad of the Mer song that they released. All of these songs are just as good as some of the ones that are in the game. I highly recommend if you're a fan of Steve Thieves checking these out, which I would assume you are if you're still watching this video. Rare has put a lot of love into the stuff that they do, both with the game and with everything that surrounds it. I hope this video was helpful and maybe found something new for you to check out. If you enjoyed, it'd be great if you left a like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.